Welcome back YouTube, it's your boy Beast Will Steven here, aka Hatch Out of Kid from Miami, and I'm back with another lit, yes sir, lit topic y'all, man, happy Friday y'all, welcome back to Friday Night Topics episode 32 y'all, man y'all, uh, we definitely, man, we definitely found ourselves another gold digger y'all. And it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Because honestly, this person I really thought that they were very genuine, someone who I probably saw a future with based on how the energy and everything was going. Everything was just clicking right. But all of a sudden, y'all, it took a left turn. It took a heavy left turn, y'all. And you know, like some people told me, I dodged a bullet. And I thank God every day because Sometimes in life, y'all, if you don't study these things, you'll be making a lot of mistakes in life and be hurting yourself mentally, emotionally. You feel me, y'all? So, you know, this person, again, everything was going great until they did something that they probably regret today and they know which was wrong, especially for a person who has a good heart who gave you an opportunity and a chance to come correct so the future can be bright and you end up showing your true gold digging colors, y'all. Bro, shoddy trifling. And y'all won't even understand the person, even their name rubbed me the wrong way, but I don't like to judge people off their names, but it's just what's a coincidence that their name fall or met the description, you feel me? So, all I gotta say is I dodged a bullet and I'm proud of myself and honestly it's not somebody that I could say that I knew for a whole month but someone that really put me in the position to give them my time and see what they would do with it but also learn from them as well each and every day you feel me y'all um so I'm not gonna talk too much y'all but we're gonna get right into it y'all because again, I'm back at it. I do got the receipts here. And I'm going to show it on the screen, y'all. And let me know down in the comments what I could have done better and how I handle it. But realistically, y'all. Bro, shoddy trifling. This is not something that I just, I was born last night. And I'm boo-boo the fool, you know. I'm good at reading patterns. I'm good at reading actions. And seeing right from wrong. Because again, I got to protect my energy at all costs at the end of the day. You feel me, y'all? So... Make sure y'all definitely, you know, smash that like button. Let's give this, you know, 1K like, 5K likes. Leave a comment, com, com, sorry, y'all. Leave a positive comment down below, y'all. And definitely smash that subscribe button. We definitely on the road to 1K subscribers, y'all. Let's dive into it. All right, y'all. So we back, we back, we back, y'all. So starting off, how I met this woman. I definitely met her off snapchat social media and you know we talk and we talk and we talk and everything's going well the same yada 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 you know what you do for work you know your character traits and all that so we talk and we have a good conversation building that genuine connection and everything was going great y'all um we did exchange numbers and i understand that she you know works the casual monday to friday saturday busy as ever and you know, she told me the day that she was off and we say, cool, cool, cool. Since the genuine connection is good, we're like, yo, let's do lunch. But it was already rubbing me the wrong way because when I said, let's do lunch, she kind of tried to pull a trick on me in a way where she tried to push the time to dinner time. I said, I said, why would we do lunch around 5 p.m.? around that time you know it didn't make sense you know lunch is usually around 11 30 all the way till 3 p.m or 4 p.m the max you know so i'm like okay i'm like okay so i kind of just reminded her there to let her know i caught you in your little you know ish but it wasn't like a big thing i think she just misread or whatever it is but i wasn't google the fool so basically y'all uh, we finally came up with a day and it was this past monday labor day we went out for lunch y'all and I got the receipts here as well. So at the beginning, y'all, 
I'm going to pull up the first one. At the beginning, y'all, so as we talking, y'all, I always ask a person this question always. And if y'all seen my last video, episode 31, um, I always ask this, this person, like any person, this question, you know, what is your toxic traits? You know, you should know that. And people don't ask you this question to judge you in a way, but they have to understand what they're working with. They got to understand your triggers. They got to understand that you're not perfect, that you have weaknesses, that you're you're basically working to improve on, right? So when I ask a woman this, I'm checking for one, is this person going to be truthful? Two, is this person actually going to go into details to help me understand what I'm really up against, you know? And if a person can't be open and truthful about it with you, then don't waste your time, like I said in my last episode. So she opens up, but she didn't really list much. She did give me a paragraph, but didn't really list much, you know, toxic traits, right? So she, so I reply that, so she replies back, I'm gonna put it on the screen here. She replies back, I overthink, over love, and always expect people to treat me the same way I treat them like sharing love and expecting it in return. I just feel like I expect too much from people and I'm often disappointed. Huh, I should look deeper into this because it's the reason if I look deeper into this, I will understand what and why she did what she did to me. Her actions that she did not only showed how ungrateful she was, but it also showed me what a gold digger she is. And I should have looked deep into this when she said that. Because words have so much of a big impact if you don't look deep into it. So she finally actually gives me the opportunity and chance, you know, as we talking and she says, you know, we can for sure see how things go in person. We can see if we, if we vibe for sure. So I'm like, cool, cool, cool. You know? Then we trying to figure out time and all that. So we said three. And she asked me, where should we meet? And I said, I said, yes. I said, I replied, that, I said, yes. Where do you want me to pick you up? Now, I, like, I'm a respectful guy. You know, I'm not the type where if you don't want me to pick you up in front of your house on the first day, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to ask you, yeah, we can meet somewhere else. And I can pick you up there and drop you back. Simple as that. But she was confident enough to be like, Yes, you can pick me up at my place as she replies here. So as we got that out the way, and it's the final day. I'm up, I'm happy, I'm like, damn, I'm finally about to build a genuine connection with a good woman. She looks good, but I see people who know me would know that I do not settle for appearances only. That does not cut it for me, that's that does not settle for me, you know. So I'm how happy, you know, I'm like good day, labor day. Everybody's out enjoying themselves. I'm about to go out and enjoy myself as well, y'all. And I'm like, damn. One of the things that already pissed me off was the was the fact that the car was already having car problems. So I said, in my good heart, I'm not gonna stall this person out. I'm not gonna reschedule. I'm gonna make every effort to make this lunch date happen. Lunch date, not dinner date, lunch date. So as the day is going on, I leave my house around 1.30 and everything's going on track and so on. And I have to literally travel across the freaking city, y'all, to even make this shit happen. Take it in, y'all. You wake up, your car's having issues, but you have a good heart to make shit happen. And you have to travel all the way across the freaking city to show this person how much you mean to them. For only them to do you wrong. So as we're speaking here, I'm gonna pull this up, this new, this other text message here. As we're speaking, yesterday, the same day. Oh wait, sorry y'all. It was the same day that, yeah, we were talking the same day as I'm literally on my way there. And she's like, and good, I'm not eating until we get there, LOL. I should look deeper into this because what she did matches the same actions as she wrote here. Hey! Why? And 
I replied back, all right, noted. I forgot the D there. My fault, y'all. But it says, all right, noted. That makes two. I, I skipped out on breakfast for it. LOL. And she typed, replied back, LOL, large LOL. She was having a good laugh out of that. Um, and she said, what time will you be grabbing me? 3 p.m. as we agreed, you know? So, I skipped out on breakfast, y'all. Y'all should know most black people, if they don't have their breakfast or some type of food in the morning, they get grumpy, y'all. Maybe other cultures as well, but we get grumpy, y'all. So, literally... As I arrived there and I'm on my way there, I did tell her I was there to pick her up some flowers and whatnot because I have a good heart, right? But little did I know it's Labor Day. No flower shops, no major like whatever places you go to get good stuff was even open on that day. So I'm literally in my freaking Uber telling my Uber driver to stop at this place, stop at that place, stop at this place, just to see if I can find some roses. And I couldn't. So I'm already behind time. I already took my accountability and told her, you know, I'm sorry I'm late because it's Labor Day. There's a lot going on downtown because everybody's literally trying to enjoy this last day before they go back to boot camp. In other words, which I like to call school. And literally, I'm passing through this hectic, you know, traffic, trying to make it on time. But I was 30 minutes late. So I took my accountability for that. But it's the fact that as I'm getting there and we talking, she's asking, what am I wearing? I tell her I'm wearing a nice blue, as y'all see on the screen, I'm wearing a nice blue jean, a black tee, and a nice shoes to match the weather. Casual, great look. The reason why I did that is because I'm not trying to look flashy. I'm not trying to show her my pockets like that. I'm trying to show her my vision. And my vision was... If we survive this first date, then I'm going to take you to an upper, better place. Something that you like. But the real reason why we did the whole freaking first date was to build that genuine connection. And she lost sight of that. Why? Because she let her pride and her gold digging energy get in the way of that. She fumbled hard, y'all. So continuing, she replies back. I say, how about you? She says, I'm wearing a cute dress, ready whenever you are, but I'm not so casual, LOI. I think I'll change. I reply back, with this weather, I think a cute dress goes great for real. Okay, then I'm not changing. When I get to the spot, tell me, tell me, tell me, when I pick her up, in the Uber, I give her a hug. We're talking in the car. I ask her, yo, I made the wrong mistake too because I should have asked her this way before we even confirm a first date. I should have asked her what type of restaurants have you been to and what type of restaurants are you into? Because that's what the first question we were talking about in the car. So, so as I make my way to the bar and grill that I had planned and we arrived there, I open the door for her. She walks in, she does her little scanning, sits down, and her whole mood just changes. I'm trying to figure out, was it because I was late? Or was it because it was the place? And realistically, y'all, it was the place. Because you know why? Because she did not even give the place a chance to even try the food. She got there sat down, lost her mood, and said she's ready to go back home. What? Yo! Yo! This is crazy! Bruh! She did not even give the place a chance. I did not even have breakfast. Travel across the freaking city to make this happen for you. And you, you, you did not even take even 20 minutes to even order one thing or even take the food home at least. And you know, the dumbest thing I probably ever did was having even a, mo a more good heart by saying, you know what, I feel for her. 
So let me try to take you somewhere better. She wasn't in for that. I said, cool. I ain't got to waste a dime on you. Because why? Because you already showed me you're ungrateful and you're a gold digger. Why? Because you know what else she said that I'm calling her a gold digger is the fact that she said, do you see how I'm dressed? I think you could have put a little bit more effort into this entire thing. Do you see how I'm dressed? Meaning the way that she is dressed is referring that she should be taking somewhere fancy, high level experience. Are you guys taking this in now? I start off from the beginning having a general conversation with this woman leading to her showing me that she's ungrateful. But why? You know why it already gave me the signs? Because of the text messages of how she replied. I look, I, it, it literally gave me all the answers. But not only that, the name threw me off. Her name is actually Goldie. Bruh. So I'm like, damn. So I arrived there. We get to the place. Not even order any food. And I'm constantly asking her. What went wrong? And she's telling me I could have put even more effort. It's the first date. Relax. Understand the true vision. Understand what's really happening here. She clearly showed me she was only there for the food and actually trying to watch my pockets. Because tell me, I'm telling you guys, y'all. If I took her to anywhere fancy, high class, it would not even end this way. So I'm wasting all this money trying to make something good happen for this one woman who showed me that she's ungrateful. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's 2024, y'all. I'm not like other men out there. You got to understand that other men move differently. If some men want to spend the bag on you without even knowing 20 things about you is because they care more what's in between your legs than actually trying to get to know you. Let that sink in your head. So I said, cool. I called the Uber back. And you know what was so funny? I was so heated. I was about to hop into a next Caribbean man's car. And lucky this man was an elderly man. He was Caribbean. And he's telling me constantly, constantly, constantly that, oh, I got the wrong car. I got the wrong car. And I'm thinking he's Uber. And I'm about to hop into this man's car. So I'm, like, <laughs> so I'm like, he already knew I was heated. He already knew shit was going left already, right? Oh, sorry, y'all. I didn't want a wasp to come in here, y'all. So, yeah. So, like, basically, y'all, he already knew I was already heated by literally trying to get into this man's car knowing that this is not the Uber. When the Uber finally came here, it was dead silent in the car. And I'm trying to talk to her, trying to figure out why she in this mood. But it was the place, y'all. She wanted highly better. She wanted to be treated like a queen. Right off the bat. But not take into consideration that what I had to go through to even make this date even happen. And it's a lunch date, y'all. It's a lunch date. I complimented her. I opened the door for her. And I'm ready to spend on some good food for her without even asking her to pay a dime. For her to even screw it up without even giving it a chance not even the place got there sat down and said i'm ready to go home crazy and i did the whole casual look because like i said again i was not trying to look flashy and let her know i got it like that i wanted to i wanted her to see me for me but like how would y'all really, like, tell me? Like, isn't that a sign of a gold digger? You literally, like, if you really take in, if the bill is higher than the conversation, they they are definitely gold digger. And what that means is, if, they're, if their only focus is to go there and enjoy their own self and, like, order the whatever, what's expensive on there, 
order half the menu, but not really there to really build that general connection and connect with you, then clearly they're showing signs of a gold digger, huh? It's the first date, y'all. You're not supposed to go crazy. But at the end of the day, y'all, as soon as I got home, I ordered me some food, y'all. And I was like, yeah, I was not, I was not feeling any type of way, y'all. Because I said, I said I knew what I was doing. I had a vision, I had a plan, and she did not see it or understand it. So that's her loss at the end of the day. And I dodged the bullet. Because the way she, that she dressed, she felt like I should have took her to a high-end place. Knowing I don't even know 20 things about this woman. And I'm still trying to get to know this woman. And the place wasn't even that bad. But you did not even give the place a try. You know how many homeless people are out here starving? Them African kids across the freaking country, other like countries who are starving. Who will be grateful that someone took the time to take them out to eat. It's a bar and grill too, so there's alcohol to order too. And you, you did not even give it a chance. Because it wasn't a high fancy restaurant that you were listing. Places that you already been to. And that's the only thing she was naming inside the Uber. All the fancy places, four star, five star restaurants. I didn't hear no Denny's, no Arby's, no McDonald's, no Burger King. No KFC, Popeye's, Zach's Beats, none of that. So I think at the end of the day, y'all, I made the right decision of not giving this gold digger my time. I was 10 toes down, y'all. I was a gentleman to this woman, y'all. And because it wasn't her taste, she said, nah, I'm going home. Bravo to you. Wasted two, three hours getting ready for what? Nothing. Because you can't communicate and tell me what went wrong. But I already knew why she was going through her face. We just met. Relax. And trust the process. And trust the vision. But other than that, y'all. Appreciate y'all tuning in to Friday Night Topics episode 32, y'all. Let me know in the comments down below, please, how you guys will handle it.